So, we have an empty garage. I have sold my bikes and yeah, well, there's one left. So in the meantime, while I put these gloves on, you guys can take a walk, guess, for those of you guys who don't know what bike is still left. Take a walk, guess what that bike is behind me, the sound, and you'll know. Yes, so we are left with the Roll Glide, the Low Rider S is sold, and the FXR is sold. So, we have a beautiful day out here in dirty Jersey. Blue skies, clear skies, high of 90 degrees. First 90 degree day uh, to break off the season. It's been beautiful all week. It's been, it's been nice, man. Um, yeah, so I sold my low rider S and I sold my FXR. And you must be wondering now, or even thinking that I'm crazy because from all the messages that I've been receiving on my Instagram it's like everyone has had the same message and the message goes like this why did you sell that bike that bike is you like you you're the reason why I bought that bike you know you, that you know we think about that bike and we think about you and um yeah, it, it, it's that plus a thousand messages asking me why I sold it, why I sold it, why I sold it. And frankly, I haven't told anyone. Maybe two people know. Two or three people may know the reasons why. So today I'm going to be dishing everything out. Why? Not 100%, but give you a, a, a scope into uh, into everything. So with that being said, let's just talk about the little rider rest real quick. Um, yes, that bike is special was special that bike was the bike that made this channel what it is you could easily say hey uh, that bike was your channel at one point yes but obviously we made the channel to something else where it's not just low rider s content it's also roguelike content it's it was fxr content it's harley davidson news it's indian news it's group rides it's just me hanging out. It's installs. It's the, the channel has grown to be a lot bigger than what I initially planned it, it to be. Um, and, and no, it, 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 it doesn't have to revolve just around the uh, Lowrider S. Now, did I love that bike? Yes. Did I want to sell that bike in all honest truth? No. Would I have kept it if I was able to? yes now the fxr was that, that that bike was special man it's uh it, it's it was the bike that i was looking for for some time i absolutely loved it um just the the right fxr that i wanted the the exact way that i wanted it um i mean <laughs> i can't say anything bad about that bike but changes had to be made. And those changes have to do with some personal choices that I've decided to make. Those changes have been made around uh, some future plans that I have for the channel at the moment. Um, I, I, I don't know if, if I can say more than that without spilling too much out. I, I honestly, that, that's all I can say. So, is this the only bike for the channel right now? Yes. Will it be the only bike for the channel? No. There will be other bikes to come. Will it be tomorrow? No. Will it be next week? No. Will it be next month? No. I'm trying to plan a few things out at the moment. Who knows? This bike, this bike might even go as well. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but I, I am planning some things out. Uh, there will be, hopefully, if everything works out the way I'm planning it to be, there will be another bike on the channel. 
Um, and um, it, I, I hope it's going to be something that you guys are interested into. If you're not, then cool, because at the end of the day, I do my content uh, for those who want to watch it. And for those who don't want to watch it, then there's also a thousand channels out there that you can go watch. I, I, at the end of the day, I do this because this is my hobby. I love producing content. I love helping those out there out with uh, any uh, questions that they have about any of these bikes that I currently have. Um, and I like, I like being part of the community in the way that I do things. At the end of the day, this is my hobby and I love it. Now, on the more personal side, um, I am planning a lot of stuff in my personal life right now. Um, uh, how can I say this without even spilling too much out? Um, I, I'm in my 30s, right? So, I'm 36. Um, and they say that when, when you're in your 30s, you're, you're thriving and you're coming up with new ideas and that's when your brain is fully developed. So, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to come up with some new ideas, right? With, uh, with, with stuff in my personal life. Um, I'm moving a lot of the chess pieces around. I'm trying to allocate certain things and I'm trying to put the puzzle all together to set my life up for the next 10 years to come where I want to be at, right? So if that makes any sense, let's let's just leave it at that um so certain things had to be done certain toys had to go in order for me to fulfill my my future plans with my personal stuff and then obviously my future plans with the channel itself um it's all for the best it's all for the good so no worries there and i can honestly tell you guys yes i loved those bikes Especially the Lowrider S, that bike was, it was a bike that I thought I would never sell. It's a bike that I said, hey, I'm probably going to keep this bike forever. It's, uh, it's going to be that piece that's going to be in my garage, whether I'm riding it or not riding it, it's going to be there. But at the end of the day, it's, it's all material. And material things can be replaced. As long as you have those memories, that is all that matters because I made hundreds, maybe thousands of memories on that bike. I was able to help out a lot of new riders with that bike. I was able to help out a lot of people make their choices about buying that bike or maybe not buying that bike. I was able to help a lot of people work on their bikes, me doing my own work on that bike or me taking it to my local shop. Shout out to Torque to get some work done on that bike. I was able to learn a lot about the motorcycle community through that bike, how to work on that bike, and just everything. So, the memories will always be there. And obviously the content is there for me to look back on and for you guys to look back on. Um, but material things are material things, guys, and material things are replaceable. 100%. So in my sad, that those bikes are gone um it's bittersweet let's just say that it's bittersweet but with that being said we still have the roll glide right here which uh there's a lot of work to be done to this bike still um there's still a lot of stuff that i want to do to this bike depending if i end up keeping her or not because <laughs> i mean that's still up in the mix as well maybe not um I mean, at the end of the day, I, I kind of wanted it to stay with the bike that I was going to be using the most. Which, at the end of the day, th this was the bike that I rode the most. This was the bike that, you know, it's, it's, it's the most comfortable. That it's just a more, the most practical bike for me at the moment. Um, for what I need it to be and for what I want it to be. Now, are those the same needs that I'm going to have for the next five years with this bike? I don't know. That That's what I got to sit down and figure out still. But for now, this is the bike for the channel. Um, it's, it's the bike that everyone has been kind of going crazy over in the past few years. I mean, Road Glides are probably the most popular bikes that Harley makes at the moment, besides the Lowrider S. I think the Road Glide and the Lowrider S are like top, top. Um, so yeah, a lot of more content to come. We have a lot of more installs to install in here and a lot of more trips to make on this bike. And 
hopefully I answered some of your questions today. Um, if you're saddened by this, then uh, I'm sorry. Um, there's a lot of you guys that knew about this for the past week or two already because I posted everything on my Instagram. I sold the bikes through Instagram and Facebook Marketplace. Um, so if you're not following me on my Instagram, it's the same name as my YouTube channel, it's Marvel Kid 87 You can learn a little bit more about myself. You could see my day-to-day -day activities and um, maybe look at stuff before it makes it onto the channel as well. With that being said, um, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna finish enjoying this beautiful day out here because it's it's. It's perfect today. Drop your thoughts and comments down below. Uh, I want to get your feedback on everything. Um, and take a wild guess. Maybe what is the next bike to come to the channel? I want all you guys to, to vote right now. Drop your comment. What bike do you think is coming next on the channel? That's going to be it. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Come here.